It's time to move. How do you move to a different state? The time has come for you to begin self-sufficient living and leaving society. Finally, <laughs> you've lived all your life where you are. How can you possibly move from where you are now far away to a different state, from a busy city life to the country? This is going to blow your mind. Live happy, fun, loving, and carefree. It's time to move. Life where you are today isn't happy anymore. Maybe it's the high cost of living, maybe it's an increase in crime, or even oppressive regulations, whatever. Whatever the reason is, or the reasons, you have finally decided to move. Hey, good for you. So, how do you do it? Do you do it the traditional way? Or do you do it Rob's way? <laughs> when you research how to move to a different state, you're gonna find things like, visit the new state, and how do you look for a place to live? And how do you research for a new job? How do you hire a reputable moving company? Yeah, boy, that's fun. How do you change your driver's license? But here's the deal. Here's my thinking. Why am I not a fan of this traditional method for moving to a different state? What's Rob's way? My way of moving to a different state. <laughs> okay, so pretend like you're out living in California <laughs> and you're thinking of moving to Florida or Texas or Tennessee. The traditional way, visiting a new state, looking for a place to live, looking for a job. All these things recommended take time and money, two truths you don't have an excess of. The clock's ticking, and who wants to waste a bunch of money? Not me. And the biggie, with their traditional way of moving, all you're really doing is changing your scenery. You know, think about it. You're taking the life that you have now, an unhappy, stress-filled life, you're picking it up, and you're moving from location A to location B. Why? Why? Rob's way of moving to a different state. <laughs> this, is, this is what's worked for me. This is how we've moved to a different state. When we were ready to begin self-sufficient living and us leaving society, first, don't overthink it. When you research, it's easy to get overwhelmed. You start second guessing yourself and then you develop a case of what we call analysis paralysis. Been there, done that. My opinion, follow the advice of Ray Bradbury. Jump off that cliff and build your wings on the way down. <laughs> Second, sell, give away, donate, throw out your stuff. You're beginning a self-sufficient life don't bring your baggage with you. It's just stuff. Why hire a moving company to move stuff from point A to point B? Think going light. Get a small RV or a trailer to tow. We went the trailer route. If it didn't fit in the trailer that we purchased, it didn't go with us. This allows you to be mobile, to move around and search out the place that you want to call home. Got to look at my fingers. Third, your job. <laughs> You're going to love this. Walk right up to your boss and tell them what they can do with that job. I'm serious. It feels good. Really, really good. <laughs> Gas up your car, your truck, your van, your RV, whatever you've decided to use. Load up the few boxes of belongings that you are keeping. Head on down the road. Get out on that freeway and just drive away from the city. Here's the leaving society. Freedom! <laughs> so now you don't have a job. You don't own any land. You don't even know what you're going to be doing. So what? You are jumping off that cliff 
and building your wings on the way down. <laughs> You're gonna figure it out. Have some faith. I ain't nobody special. We have packed up our belongings and left our home and jobs and drove halfway across the country to start a new chapter in our lives three times. Three times. If we can do it, you can do it too. Please, please refuse to look in the mirror each morning and say, man, I hate my life, but 10 years from now, my life's going to be great. If you don't change your life, your life won't magically change. That's worth repeating. If you don't change your life, your life won't magically change. There will always be something, some decision to be made. The timing is never going to be right. You're never going to be completely ready. You must make the commitment to start living your self-sufficient life. Yes, there's going to be challenges to overcome. I know it and you know it. Some might seem impossible. Sure, it's going to be difficult at times. Sure, it's going to be easy to get distracted. Say yes to Rob's way, my way, to move into a different state and you beginning self-sufficient living and leaving society. Freedom! <laughs> live happy, live fun-loving, and live carefree by saying yes to Rob's way of moving to a different state. Ha, 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 ha.